Students and teachers in the state's largest school district, they have their alarm clock set tonight because it's back to class tomorrow for Columbus City Schools. More than 50,000 students will be returning to the classroom in the new school year, but there are some big improvements that parents are going to notice before that first bell rings. NBC4's Rob Sneed is live outside of Clinton Elementary School. Rob? Well, the school officials tell me there are many changes underway this school year, including a new home for one of its schools. While students are enjoying their last day at home, these Columbus City School teachers are in a day early, getting their classrooms ready. We're just excited to be here. Um, the district, um, the buildings and grounds crews, the communications, everybody has lent a hand, including our families. Everybody's a lent a hand for us to be here today, so we're very excited. Amanda Reidenbaugh with Columbus Gifted Academy says the school is moving from Beck Street near German Village to the Everett Building in the Short North. She says the new facility will have 100 new students and five new staff members. And we just have space to spread out. We really love to engage in flexible learning here. District officials say its teachers are dedicated to empowering its students more than ever before district wide. There are more than 3,000 classrooms. According to the district website, District Superintendent Dr. Dan Good sent a recorded message to parents that said, in part, quote, Reading and math scores are up. Increasing numbers of students are learning valuable job skills as early as middle school, and our graduating classes get larger and larger each year. And quote. Now you can see here on the sign, welcome back students here at Clinton Elementary School, but according to the Columbus Education Association's Facebook page, they are still in the process of negotiating their contracts, and until that's finalized, they are, quote, working to the rule, which means they are not working past their scheduled shifts. Rob Sneed, NBC4. Thanks so much, Rob. NBC4 is your back-to-school headquarters. Visit NBC4i.com slash back-to-school for a list of first-day resources. You can also upload your photos of the students as they return to the classroom. The family of a